Good morning, students! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's tutorial, we are going to discuss about factoring sum and difference of two cubes. Method of factoring difference of two cubes. First, what are the cube roots of the first and last term? Second, write their difference as the first factor. Third, for the second factor, square the first term of first factor. Add the product of the first and second term of the first factor. Square the last term of the first factor. Then, lastly, write them in factored form. Here is example 1. Factor x cubed minus 8. So, we are going to follow the first step. We are going to get the cube roots of the first and last term. For the first step, we got x as the cube root of x cubed and 2 as the cube root of 8. Now we we'll go to the second step. Write their difference as the first factor. So we're going to write their difference. Once you pasabot and ang write their difference, simple as imuaragong i subtract. For the step 2, we have x minus 2 because we write the difference of the two cube roots, the x and 2. So we're done with the step 2. Now we're going to proceed to the step 3. Take note that our letter B answer, which is x minus 2, is our first factor. So naan first factor class. Now we're going to move sa step 3. Step 3, para sa second factor. First is square the first term of the first factor. Ato is square ang first term sa first factor. So, maumani ang atong first factor. Kung sa may putpasabot anang square, that means ato siyang i-multiply sa iyahang kaugalingon. Square the first term. So, this is the first term. X is the first term. 2 is the second term. Square the first term of the first factor. So, akaning x, ato siyang i-multiply sa iyong ugalingon. Munibot pa sa sa square the first term of first factor. So, ang nahitabo, nahimo na siyang x square. Nga nung nahimo naman siyang x square. So, muni siya ang result sa atong pag square sa first, first term, sa first factor na to. So, ato mo ni siyang square ang x. The result is x square. Proceed. Next is, add the product of the first and second term. Ang mahitabuan ni Karon is, ato aning i-multiply ang first term of second term. Dayon, i-add na to sa x square. Ato lang i-disregard ang iyahang negative sign ha. Kana lang yun ang ato ang i-multiply. So, multiplying the first and the second term, the result is 2x. Kay x times 2 equals 2x. Next, square the last term of the first factor. Last term or the second term. Atong i-square ang second term or the last term. Kung sa inang i-square, Ato siyang i-multiply sa iyong kagalingon. Since this is the first term and this is the second term, kaning 2, ato siyang i-multiply sa iyong kagalingon. Dahil ni-add na to diri. So, the result is 2 times 2 equals 4. Oh, muna dahil ni ang result. Are we done? No, wala pa tanahuman. Kaya na pa may last step. Ang buhato na to is, write them in factored form. But pa sa but, atong isulat ang first factor o ang second factor. Okay, muuman ni ato ang second factor. Kaning x squared plus 2x plus 4. Again, 
Write them in factored form. Buot pa sa buot at orang isulat ang first factor o second factor. X minus 2 times quantity of x squared plus 2x plus 4. So, muna dahil ni ang ato ang answer or the factored form of the difference of x cubed minus 8. Now, we're going to proceed to example 2. Factor 27x cubed plus 1. Okay, as you can see, dili na siya difference of 2 cubes. Okay, plus sign naman na. So, this is the sum of 2 cubes. So, kung sa may kalainan sa sum o difference, na abay kalainan sa iyong method? Na a, na ay gamay. So before we will start factoring 12x cubed plus 1, ato sang review ang method. For the first step, what are the cube roots of the first and last term? So kwaon na to ang cube roots sa first and sa last term. Second step, write their sum as the first factor. So, gani ha, different, write their difference as the first factor. Karoon, write their sum. Third, for the second factor, get the trinomial factor by squaring the first term of the first factor, subtracting the product of the first and second terms of the first factor, squaring the last term of the first factor. Then last, write them in factored form. For the step one, Atong kuhaon ang cube root sa first term o sa second term. Sa 27x cube, unsa may cube root ani? Ang iyang cube root is 3x. Ano 3x man? Ang inyong buhaton ana is mangita mo number nga inyong i-multiply o katulo sa iyong gugalingon o result galing na o 27x cube mo na iyahang cube root. Okay, we will try 3x. Multiply ang 3x o katulo sa iyang kagalingon o result ba o 27x cubed. I-check na ito, class, kung sakto ba ang ato ang cube root sa 27x cubed. So, we will multiply 3x times 3x times 3x. 3 times 3 equals 9. 9 times 3 equals 27. X times X times X equals X cubed. So, the answer is 27 X cubed. Therefore, sakto ang ato ang cube root. How about the second term? What is the cube root of 1? 1. 1 rapod ba ang cube root sa 1? Yes. Because 1 times 1 times 1 equals 1. So, kaning... 1 is naa siya'y square root na up ni siya'y cube root. Okay, imo isulay ug multiply ang 1 times 1 times 1 sa ingong lingon, di ba ang result is 1 lang gihapon? So the cube root of 1 is 1. For the second step, write their sum as the first factor. So ato ra siyang i-add ang cube root sa first ug sa last term. And that's it. Result sa ato ang step 2. Okay, i-add naman na ito ang cube root sa first o sa second term. Proceed to step 3. Sa step 3, para magkuha na ito ang second factor, get the trinomial factor by squaring the first term of the first factor. Atong i-square ang first term sa first factor. Atong buhato na to una is para sa third step, atong square ang first term, which is 3x. Okay, we only have two terms remain, the 3x and the 1. So, this is the first term. Ato siyang square. Unsa kali nang square, ato siyang i-multiply sa iyong kaugalingon. O sa 3x times 3x equals 9x square. 3 times 3 equals 9x times x equals x square. Sunod, proceed na sa next. Sunod is subtracting the product of the first and second terms of the first factor. Atong i-subtract ang product sa first and second term. Atong buhaton is ato siyang i-multiply ang 3x o 
3x times 1 equals 3x. Ang giingon ganiha is subtract the product of the first and last term of the first factor. So, 3x man ang product niya. So, ato na siyang i-subtract sa first term which is 9x squared. So, isa na lang ka-term atong kulang. Proceed ta. Para sa last term sa itong trinomial mo niyang buhaton. Squaring the last term of the first factor. So, atong square ang last term or the second term of the first factor. So, mo man ni ang second term or last term sa atong first factor. Ato na siyang i-square. Squaring means multiplying to itself. So, 1 times 1 equals... 1. So, muna dahil ni ang third term sa ato ang trinomial. Therefore, 9x squared minus 3x plus 1 is our second factor. For the factored form, we have 3x plus 1 times 9x squared minus 3x plus 1. Muna dahil ni ang ato ang Answer. So, ato lang isulat, no? Ang first factor, which is kani, then ang second factor, nga kani. So, ano ka simple? For your activity 1, directions. Factors completely the sum and difference of two cubes. Number 1 problem. 27p cube plus q cube. Number 2, y cube minus 64. Number 3 is 8t cube minus 125 v cube. For number 1, this is the sum of 2 cubes. For number 2, this is the difference of 2 cubes. For number 3, it's a uh, difference of 2 cubes. Now, you may start answering. Now, we're going to proceed. Lesson 2. Factoring perfect square trinomials. To factor perfect square trinomials, number one, get the square root of the first and last terms. Root, list down the square root as sum or a difference of two terms as, this, as the case may be. You can use the following relationships to factor perfect square trinomials. Nga nung gitawag man siya o perfect square trinomial. Tungod kay tanang terms, the first, the second, and the third term, are both na ay square root. Square root of n square, n. Square root of 16, 8. Square root of 64, 8, right? So, muna siyang itawag o perfect square trinomial. Factoring perfect square trinomial is very easy. Kaya nga naman, muna na itong buhaton class. Ang itong buhaton ay is, kwa na nato ang square root sa first term o square root sa third term. Muna na siya. So, muna itong buhaton. Get the square root of the first term plus the square root of the last term. Then, put quantity to the power of 2. Muna na siya. So, muna dahil ni ang atong answer class. Quantity of n plus 8 raised to 2. Kaya nga naman, muna may giingon dira nga get the, the square root of the first term. Square root of n, square root of n square is n. Get the square root of the last term. The square, the square root of 64 is 8 to the power of 2. So, quantity n plus 8 raised to 2. And this is the answer. Now, we are going to proceed example 2. Factor 4r square minus 12r plus 9. So, sa so gatibuhaton, we are going to get the square root of the first term and the Square root of the last term. Now, what is the square root of 4r square? The square root of 4r square is 2r. 2r times 2r equals 4r square. Nga nung nagbutang mantag negative sign diri. Kay, na negative sign sa, sa trinomial. Next, get the square root of the last term, 9. Square root of 9 is... 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. So, quantity of 2R minus 3 raised to 2 is the factored form of 4R squared minus 12R plus 9. And this is the answer. Now, answer activity 2. Directions. 
factors completely the following perfect square trinomials. Number 1, 9n squared plus 30nd plus 25d squared. 2, p squared plus 18p plus 81. Third, n squared plus 16n plus 64. Now you may start answering. Thank you for listening. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.